I spent basically the first seven years of my parenting life feeling like I was failing. I had gone to school for education. I knew child development. I knew kids. I loved kids. And my favorite kids in my classroom were the kids that had a hard time. And then when I had my own son, and he was amazing until he went to school. And then once he got to school, other people didn't see the amazing kid that I saw. I didn't want anyone else to feel the way I felt. And I didn't want any other kid to go through what my child was going through. My oldest son is a very special and amazing super kid, but he's on the spectrum and he can have really difficult behaviors and it can be unpredictable. And so he was kicked out of preschool and he was kicked out of church camp. We sent him to a robot camp, which he loved robots, and he got kicked out of robot camp. Nobody could understand him. Nobody knew how to connect with him so that he could be successful. When I started searching for homeschool information, everything looked perfect. Everyone knew exactly how to do what they were supposed to do. And I thought there's no way that life is this perfect for all homeschoolers. And so I decided I'm gonna start a blog and I'm just gonna share the good days, the bad days. And magically, people wanted to hear the stories of it's not perfect. And so my audience started growing pretty quickly, almost immediately. It wasn't until I wrote a blog post that was about how to create this at-home sensory toolkit, I started getting email after email after email. And they were like, well, where do I buy this bag? I'm like, well, you don't. You just, you put it together on your own. That's how the internet works. And they didn't want that. They wanted me to create them this bag of goodies. And it was the first time that we ever thought, is this a business? Is this something we should be doing? And so we kept coming up with new products and new ideas until I got myself kind of in a mess. <laughs> and we had lots of products and lots of different things going everywhere. So we were at a place in our business where we felt successful. And so it gave us kind of this false sense of security. On the books, it looked amazing. We were living the American dream, but we were still paycheck to paycheck. I felt like it was gonna fall apart every single month. When the books went back to zero, that's what brought me to looking for more answers is there's gotta be something I'm missing. There just has to be. I think if we hadn't found Ask Method, we would have probably folded. Our conversion rate on our sales pages was like probably under 1%. While I had this large community of people, I wasn't able to predict what was gonna convert with them. I had built an entire business out of sticks and not a business out of bricks. We sent out a survey. We analyzed the responses. We made all of our buckets and then we planned the webinar. I had never made a webinar in my life, but I knew the steps to take. We closed the webinar with a 20% conversion rate and that's the biggest difference since Ask Method. Now we actually have money in savings and we're planning how we're going to invest in the business more. And we've had our first launch where it feels like, okay, now we just have to build on that. That's scalable. We can do that again. I was thinking this is magic. I never dreamed that as a mom, I could stay home with my kids, retire my husband from his corporate job and grow this amazing, and flourishing business, but yet here I am, and it's absolutely amazing to step back and see what we've accomplished and the possibilities of where our journey's gonna take us. When I meet adults and I tell them what I do, one of the first things that so many of them say is, where were you when I was a kid? And that's how I know I'm on the right track. When I look at my son, 
I just, I see so much hope that he's gonna get to do what he wants to do, have whatever job or career or create anything that he wants, and he's not gonna feel like he doesn't have what it takes. And I just feel incredibly hopeful and happy, and I can't help but smile just thinking about his future. And that's a good feeling.